Okay, so after you have the advertisement up and running, and it is not all. You still have to tweak the advertisement, tweak the keywords for every day and uh, every week as well. So I have some tips to help you to how you can monitor and improve the performance of your advertisement daily and weekly. So let's take a look. So um, every day, you need to log in to your Bing ads and eliminate keywords that's not that targeted. So that's first thing you need to do. You also need to check if it exceeds your daily budget. If it exceeds, you can choose to reduce, uh, eliminate the keywords that is um, not targeted or increase your daily budget. And then you check your ClickBank conversion. So let me just give you one example uh, to show you how I tweak my keywords in Bing ad. Okay, so this is just one example. So I click on the keywords. And you can see that the keywords here, there's a few keywords that has been receiving clicks over here. And for the first one, cover letter for job application, this is a very relevant keyword, so I will keep it. And for the second keywords, cover letter how to. So for this offer, I'm promoting a ebook to teach people how to write a cover letter for their job. So for cover letter how to, it may not be a good keyword. So I'm going to select this chat box first. Cover letter for CV, okay. What is resume cover letter? What is, okay. So I'm going to delete it. Sample how to write. So you can see that all these have one click yesterday. So I'm just going to look at the clicks yesterday and to see whether or not I want to remove these keywords. How to write cover letter, okay, okay need cover letter okay this one this person may be looking to outsource or purchase as a service so i'm going to delete this one as well cv cover letter cover letter resume cover sheet okay this one i'm going to remove okay so after you check those that you are going to remove just click on edit then select delete okay so that's what you should do every day so you check the performance of this offer yesterday and remove those not highly targeted keywords so just leaving that all the highly targeted keywords here to drive the traffic to the offer so after one week after two weeks after a month this campaign will be highly targeted and will make you a lot of money and um, the second thing i need you to check is that go back to the ad group and make sure that the investment so for me my budget is about four dollars so it slightly exceed my budget so in this case i can choose to increase my budget here so i just click here and i can enter five or six dollars or i can just leave it there so it is your choice i leave it to you to tweak it uh, in a daily basis okay and the next thing is that you need to check your clickbank uh, analytics as well a lot of people they are not making money in the first place it's because they don't bother to check their clickbank statistic and uh, clickbank has a very powerful analytics chart for you to take a look at analyze what's going wrong okay let me show you this example so for me, I'm promoting a few products. So this one product that I promote, Hop Count. Okay, by the way, you can access this report under your ClickBank account. Go to Reporting, Analytics. So once you go there, you can see a whole list of products that you are driving traffic to. So for this product, I have 1,061 people viewing this offer. And out of 1,061 people, 225 click on buy now and go to the order form and out of the 225 people who view the order form that have two person buy the product so result in $49.84 sales and this is this is two sales so the conversion rate is 1% because 225 people click on the buy now button two person buy so 1% and for the second product 728 29 people have um, visit the sales page and 55 people has click 
buy now button only one has uh, made the payment so this conversion rate two percent okay for the third product there's a high conversion rate <coughs> only 14 people view seven people click add to cut three people buy okay so three people make the call click on the add buy now button and resulting in one sales I believe that this is some uh, the same person clicking the button three times so that's how it result in one sale so $31 so that's what I want you to check the chart here okay and um, you need to see if in the rare case like 1000 views after you accumulate 1000 views and there's still no sales I would encourage you to delete the offer and to focus on another product okay and uh, most of the time you don't need to wait for 1000 sales in my experience if you see that there's still no sales coming in after you have 300 or 400 clicks then you may want to give up on the offer and focus on something else okay so uh, in the normal circumstances if you follow my uh, technique you should be expecting sales in 100 to 200 clicks without any tweaking okay okay now so I'm going to share with you this is just now what I've covered is the daily activities that you should do to improve your campaign now comes to weekly tweaks okay weekly tweaks means that you want to improve your advertisement and get more click through so this is why in the previous video I tell you that uh, you need to create two advertisement so when you show two advertisement there's a very good chance that you can improve the advertisement so I'm going to show you what I mean okay so this is where I am in the Bing Ads uh, account so I'm going to set this uh, time to the last seven days which is in, uh, to show a weekly statistic so now you can see that there are two advertisements here and let me teach you how you can read the numbers the first advertisement says that I have spent $20 138 clicks and the click-through rate is 0.56% for the seven, second advertisement you can see that there's only a click-through rate of 0.19% so here it's obvious that I need to improve this second advertisement so what I do is that I can click on this advertisement and I want to change the advertisement title here to something else so that I can uh, check the performance the next week so this is what uh, you should do every week so that you can make sure that the advertisement performance is uh, keep improving okay and now the last thing that you should do every week is to tabulate the sales and expense for each product if you are promoting three products then it's uh, A, B, C for product A you need to tabulate how much uh, sales you have accumulated let's say you accumulate $20 sales then you look at your Bing ads for last week how much uh, investment have you made to accumulate this $20 let's say it's $10 you will make $20 so you make a profit of $10 and if let's say product B you didn't make any sales your expense is $15 then in that case you may want to consider to suspend or delete the advertisement okay so um, a common question that people ask me is they will ask me Casey when do you decide to delete the campaign so for me I will decide to delete the campaign if after I lose the two times amount of money of the sales that I can make for example if a product can make $20 most probably I will wait until if let's say I still can't get any sales after I invest $40 of advertisement money then I will delete the offer so, um, sometimes the sales will start coming in after I tweak the keyword after I tweak the advertisement so it can be after I have invested more than $20 but before I reach the two times the commission I start to making money so that's my personal preference so this may be a guideline for you as well so if your product you are making um, the commission per sale is $18 you may want to put your threshold at $36 at the investment if 
still under $36, you will keep on trying. Only after they hit above $36, you invested more than $36, you still haven't received any sales. Then at that point of time, you may want to delete the campaign. So I hope this helpful for you.